What's up, Galactic Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for No Man's Sky. And you are right, I did not have to build on this planet. Um, I built on the planet enough to get the uh, storyline going, but I think I will uh, go build somewhere else at some point. Um, I want to find, like, an Earth-like planet, right? Lots of uh, green, lots of, you know, safety, <laughs> lots of nice temperatures, no radiation, no, none of that crazy stuff. Um, you know, this this place actually isn't that bad, uh, except, for the, except for the Sentinels. This place, if it wasn't for the Sentinels, would have been an island. Uh, an island. Hmm, think about stranded deep. Um, this would have been a planet I would have wanted to build on. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick all this stuff up, and we are just going to GTFO, and uh, we're going to live on another planet. As a matter of fact, can I pick this up? Habitable base, less edited. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Oh, cave, base. I don't know what any of this is. I hit the middle mouse button, and now I'm getting some weird, some weird things there. I don't know if I need to build another one of these. I don't know if I have to pick this up. Um, delete base. Delete the base? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, go ahead and delete the base. There we go. So now I think I can go build another base somewhere. I just don't know how I'd put it down. I don't know if... Yeah, is that is that what I just picked up? No, that's the research unit. I don't know how I'd put the base thing down. I'll have to figure that out some other time. That is not what this video is going to be about. We are actually going to... Well, I'm going to go over some tips you guys gave me. Like, um, Q is melee and spacebar is the... Jetpack. Why are you moving forward? If you melee and then use your jetpack, you could like go super fast, right? It's a little dangerous though. I've taken fall damage, but it's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people say to hit melee and the jetpack at the same time. Uh, that doesn't work for me. I have to hit melee and then the jetpack quickly after that. Okay. Also, another thing so you guys told me. Um, this is this is the man. This is the freaking tip, tip, tip of the week. Yeah, man. This freaking thing is awesome. Check this out. So, um, you can actually set. The quick hot bar things, whatever, I don't know, the quick the quick slot thing, all right? Probably, by the way, in order to get that up, you press X in case you didn't know. And it brings up all these quick slot things. Um, quick ba Oh, is he going to shoot at me? Yep. Yeah, he is. All right, let me get in here. Anyway, um, if you do that, you can, like, you can set it up. Uh, man, this is um, kind of a problem here. Uh, all right, here, I'll show you what we can do. Press X, go to what you want, like, right here under utilities. I want this thing right here switch starship view and then what you do is you hold down control and you press the n number that you want to set it up as you can see i'm doing two three i'm going to set this up as um one and that's giving me my starship view so now all i have to do is press one and i could change my starship view and you could do that with everything you could do that with third person view when you're out of the ship you could do it with refilling all of your um tools and everything and uh you know let's just get off this planet and uh, yeah so that was a great tip guys thank you very much for that freaking fantastic uh, what else? Uh, what, some people are asking why I don't, like, get in my starship and go to things I see on the planet. Like, if I'm, if I'm, like, on a planet, right, and there's, like, copper, like, 800, like, yards away or whatever, why don't I get my ship? Well, it takes, it takes fuel to take off. You can see right here my launch thrusters are actually completely out. If I land somewhere, I can't launch again until I can make some, uh, some launch fuel. So I, I tend not to, like, waste that in early game. So, also, someone was asking, why don't I play survival? I am playing survival. This is a survival uh, let's play. I, I actually chose survival. So, you know me, man. I'm a, I'm a survivor. All right, so let's take a look. Can we look at the galactic map from here? I don't know. Let's take a look. X and galactic map. There we go. All right, so this is the, um, the planetary system we're in. So, let's take a look around. See if we can, can I actually look around here or delete, deselect current system? I'm not sure. We can zoom in. And it looks like there's four planets here, which is cool. Um, R to expand. Oh, okay. All right, guys, just flying around in space, and it looks like we've got some hostile ships trying to kill us, so we're going to try and get these guys. I am not good at space combat in this game, but I'm going to see what I can do and just kind of do my best. That's all I can do is do my best. We're just going to kind of stay here, try not to overheat on stuff as well. You do have missiles. Um, I don't tend to like the missiles very much. Maybe I'll like learn to use them at some point. But for now, we're just going to use this regular stuff. What happens is um, the pirates come in the area, and if they and they'll scan your cargo, and if they find interesting things in your cargo, they will come after you, which is a pretty neat. Um, it's a pretty neat uh, game mechanic. I do like that. Although I don't like having these guys come after me. What I usually do is I just sit here and I just try and kill them as best I can. And if I get low on shields, I kind of run away a little bit and give my shields a minute to um to come back online. Come on, come on, you dick. 
All right, we're going to run away a little bit and just kind of, like, keep them off our tail. And our shields are already coming back. I mean, you can see right here we're almost at half half uh, shield. So you just kind of, like, bail out a little bit and just kind of try not to get blown up. And, you know, once your shields come back, you, I'm going to go ahead and fight them again. Um, I, what I was doing was I was just shooting asteroids, just gathering stuff. And I kind of want to check out all the planets here. And I, what I'm going to be doing today is looking for berry technology. So there we go. So that's not the one I wanted to kill. That's the one I wanted to kill. There we go. And we got some chromatic metal out of them. So once you kill them, you just kind of fly over where they where you killed them. But that guy, that guy kind of flew right through me. Oh, look at him trying to avoid my my fire. I don't think so, pal. So there you go. You just kind of go over their cargo, and I got more magnetized ferrite. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's find a planet. Um, I'm gonna try and find one of the planets I haven't been to, and we're gonna go check it out and see uh see if we can find some berry technology. I'd really like to find a space station. I don't remember if I found one in this let's play. I don't think I. Did, but I'm not positive. Honestly, I don't remember because I got a I uh, I have a stream world as well, and I'm not sure what I found in this one or what I didn't. But my um my quest is telling me to find berry technology. But finding berry technology is what I really want to do. Um, what more than anything, because I want to build a base, but I don't want to build a base out of wood because in order to build a base out of wood, you need carbon, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. I'd kind of rather build the base out of something else. Um, I think I think I can make it out of metal, which I could do ferrite, which I, I'd much rather do ferrite. Ferrite seems to be, you know, around a lot more. All right, so this is an unmapped planet. Uh, this is my first time here. I did scan it from space. That's why I can tell what it's got on it. And we're going to kind of go down there and check it out. It doesn't look like it's going to be a place I'm going to want to live, but... Yeah, no, this is not... <laughs> this is definitely not a place I'm going to want to live. But we'll kind of come down and check it out. Should be, should be all right. Uh, we need to find some... Um, some D, I forget what it's called. It starts with a D. It's definitely a D word. Um, we need to find some hydrogen. Okay, maybe it wasn't a D word. <laughs> well, dihydrogen, I guess D word. Yes. Um, yeah, we need. We're gonna make some of that, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to get some metal plating. Uh, metal plating. All right. So we don't have any. We don't have any ferrite, du ferrite dust, huh? Oh god, I'm crashing, aren't I? Uh, get out of there. There we go. That was awesome. Aren't I the best captain ever? Crashing into a planet while I'm in my <laughs> while I'm in my freaking cargo. That's hilarious. All right, so we're gonna need some ferry. It doesn't look like there's anything down there I really want to see, and it doesn't look like I can see what the what the planet consists of before I land. I guess I have to get out first. But there is a house over there, so let's go check that out. That should be pretty fun. Why not? We'll check out a house. Unknown building. Okay. So we gotta kind of slow down. Speed up a little bit, slow down, and then press E to land. Oh, there's like guys down there. Well, I hope they're not hostile, because that would be bad. Yeah, there's like an alien walking around down there. Huh, how about that? How about that? Oh, are they going to attack me? Or what is that? Isn't that what that white thing means? No, those are sentinels. I don't know if this is a hostile planet. I don't think it's a hostile planet, but who knows. All right, so we got a guy here. What's up, bro? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Oh, it's a guard. All right. What's up, buddy? I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's great. The Viking seems seems at peace out he, out here, despite their complex, sorry, complete exposure to the elements. They grunt a greeting and apparently uh, doubting my own endurance skills. Freely, uh, freely recharge my hazard protection. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. That is very kind of you. Um, can I look in this? Uh, I need a freaking hazmat thingy, don't I? What is that? Tamper prevention device. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, what is this planet? Show me the planet stats. I, I, it showed. It showed up right before I went into that inventory screen. I don't think this. How do I bring up the planet stats? It's kind of weird. It's not showing up. There it is. Oh no! This is a nice planet. Damn. I mean, it's not really somewhere I want to live. It looks kind of weak, but man, that's freaking... Those are some nice stats. Hells yeah. Y he refilled my hazard suit? Like, why? Seems very, um... Seems like a very nice planet here. Let's go ahead and loot this stuff. All right, we'll nope, that's not the button I was trying to get. There we go. Put that in an X suit. We got to find somewhere to sell, man. I'm, like, totally full. Nanites, beautiful. Well, I'm going to show you how to get some more nanites in a minute, by the way. All right. Cool. All right, got an ion battery. That's nice. Are we full? We are full. I mean, full, full. Damn it. 
I wish that guy would buy stuff from me. Anyway, let me show you to get some nanites. Okay, so um, if we come over here, press escape, go to, uh, not logs, I'm sorry, go to discoveries, you can name and upload your planets, right? Um, I've already done a couple of them. Let's do this one right here. Rename and upload. I will not rename it. There we go. And accept. And that will give me nanites. I think it gives you like 10 nanite clusters. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. Um, can I actually get the dihydrogen? I should be able to. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. That was a mistake. Bad mistake. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna cause some problems here. Are you? Are you gonna cause some problems? We cool? Alright, we're cool. We cool. Drone's like, eh. I don't think I need to mess with you. Cleared out my inventory quite a bit, which is pretty sweet. So, um, all right. So let's get out of this thing. Let's see if there's some buried technology on this planet. The drone keeps scanning me, but he doesn't, like, do anything about it. The fact that I'm mining stuff, so. So we got a knowledge stone there. We've got some uh, materials up there. Some magnetized ferrite. All right. All right. And, oh, there's a buried technology right there. Okay, let's do it. All right. Melee jetpack. Damn it, see. It's very dangerous because I always do it wrong. But, alright, whatevs. Um, I should have marked that, shouldn't I? If you hold down E, you can mark it. There we go. Let's go ahead and dig that bad boy up. Get some uh, much-needed buried technology. Area discovered. Alright, well, there you go. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. Look at this dihy dihydrogen. Come to Papa. There we go. Hopefully the drone doesn't screw with me. Okay, so where is this thing? All right, so it's got to go this way a little bit more. It looks like it's just over this hill. Yeah, this is the this is the um, kind of situation I wouldn't bring my starship. I mean, I probably should, because like it's not that hard to like fill up the. Oh, look at that! It's honestly not that hard to fill up the um the the launch pad stuff, but whatevs. Gonna grab some oxygen. Oh, drone doesn't like that. Someone made the astute observation that I am the bad guy here. The drones are the good guy. They're just kind of making sure, you know, um, I don't mess around with the uh, local wildlife or whatever. Um, some people said that the drones won't mess with you um, as, long as, you, as long as you stay away from wildlife. They don't mind you actually mining the resources. Just stay away from the plant life. So um, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I'll have to mess around with that later. All right. So terrain manipulator, another tip you guys gave me. Um, the terrain manipulator has two settings. It's got a big setting and a little setting. The little setting is, or the littlest setting, actually it's got three. Um, the littlest one will get you the most materials, the other ones are strictly for digging. So there you go, thank you for that tip. So we're just gonna go ahead and like that. And go ahead and grab this technology. And there we go, one date, wait, I only got one? Oh man. Wait, that says two, but it said I got one. Nope, no, there we go, we got two, beautiful. Beautiful, let's go find some more. I want to, I want to like, I want to get a lot of these, and then I want to find a planet that's Earth-like. All right, guys, I found a space station. Um, I'm not really good with the galactic map. I'm gonna have to look up how to use it because I can't really seem to do too much with it. Probably because I don't know what I'm doing. But all right, so let's see what this uh, space station has in store for us. Okay, it looks. A little, oh no, no, it looks just about right. I think I like this side better. Usually, the right side seems to have better stuff in it. Let's kind of look around, see what we could find. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I want. Multi-tool. Now, these things are way too expensive for me usually, but let's take a look at the multi-tool here. Uh, when you go to... Com There's a Class C multi-tool. You go to compare. Yeah, yeah. 700,000 credits. So, yeah. Can't afford that. Can't even begin to afford that. Fair enough. Uh, let's come over here, though. There will be an option to upgrade my suit. All right. Let's see if we can afford it. Alright, so there we go. Upgrade the suit. Uh, 5,000 units. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And there's also a way to uh, upgrade another part of my suit, I believe. Let's see. Uh, bear several prominent scars. Blah, blah. They see. Okay. Don't understand what he's saying. Fair enough. Uh, technology merchant offers uh, exosuit upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. There you go. Alright, so we can get life support. Movement, shields, underwater protection, radiation protection, all kinds of stuff. I honestly kind of like the life support. And really, like, for uh, life support B seems pretty decent. I don't have the nanite clusters, though. So, fair enough. I will decline. 
All right. So there's supposed to be some kind of way you can upgrade your... Oh, I don't have it? Yeah, so there's technology. Oh, no, that's Exosuit. There we go. There's cargo. There's supposed to be a way to upgrade this. I'm just not sure how. Maybe we can figure it out here. Um, but we'll see. This guy's got other stuff. These, these guys all need Nanite clusters. And they're all kinds of like... Um, all kinds of upgrades and stuff. You can do purchase upgrade modules. Right? So... But we need more nanite clusters, so we don't have a lot, really. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back here. You can get some nanite clusters back here, I believe. Kind of search around for stuff. Like this right here. There we go. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything there. Wow, I got 78 nanite clusters for that? It's sweet. All right, let's see what these guys got to say. All right. The downbeat lifeform is studying the image of another young warrior on their pad. Their picture, the pictured warrior looks very impressive. They have facial. Okay, well that's that's great. Don't understand what you're saying, dude. Uh, lifeform looks to me with the questioning eyes. They clearly need uh, someone. To, uh, they clearly need someone to talk this through with. Um, advice acceptance. Uh, accept on lifeform's behalf. Yeah, let's go with this one. The young warrior nods. They re they relay they relay a message of acceptance. Okay, well, glad I could help. He seems happy. All right, so I got uh wow oh cool, so I got a bunch of stuff for that. I got a um did I get did I get a oh no that's standing increased yeah these guys do have factions, so you're standing with them can go can go up. That was a lot. Was that nanite clusters? Twelve hundred nanite clusters or uh, request dialect help. So it'll help me learn a word. Uh, what do I want to learn? Mm, technology symbol. Okay, cool. I learned the word for multi-tool. That's nice. Let's see if we got anything we want to sell here on the old galactic... The old galactic theme of Bob. Hey, guys, I'm talking to the gar cartographer. I can exchange maps uh, for navigational data or purchase maps. I think I'm going to exchange for navigational data. Um, entrance coordinates, uh, centralized tracking. They hand me a chart, a new location of interest. Okay. All right. Oops, that's annoying. Uh, let me press. Nope. Let me press. Which one is my first person mode? I forget. It's zero. There we go. Go into first person mode here. A little bit buggy here at times. So uh, let's see if we can get more navigational charts. Uh, exchange maps. I think I only had two navigational data, so he's going to give me more points of interest. I think I'm going to buy a map, because why the heck not? 15 nanites is not a ton. Do I have any more navigational data? I do not. All right, let's purchase a map. All right, cool. Now, is that just... That's not like a whole map. That's just like one spot, right? Planetary chart number two. Okay, very good. Very good. All right, so um, I don't know if I want to talk to any of these guys. I don't know if they can really do anything for me. Oh, mission agent. Yeah, missions. Yes, I do want to get some missions. Okay. Can't do anything for me yet. All right, guys, we're back on our original planet. Um, as far as I can tell, there's only four planets in the solar system, and none of them are good to live on. So I think I want to just get going with the quests here. I th Which one is my... No, that's the beam. I think number one... Yeah, number one is life support. That's what I set it up as. Okay. So we do that, and then we do that. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of build on this planet for now. And, you know, we'll eventually go to a better, like, solar system or whatever. Um, also, I don't know I don't know what maps I bought or what locations I got. and I, But I don't know where to go to tell. Um, you know, I, I used some data things on that, you know, um, space station. And I was supposed to get some locations, but I don't see any locations anywhere. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. I'm sure you guys let me know in the comments. Let's just come on over here. No, no, good. Let's check this out. What is this? What is that? Hold, uh, skip. There we go. A beacon sent, uh, long ago from a distant system awaits my response. These numbers are viable in an empty box. I think I know what comes next. Oh boy, one of these. Okay. Okay, this is a pretty easy one. 2170. Basically, they're taking the first number and putting it at the end. Taking the first number, putting it at the end. Taking the first number, putting it at the end. So, 2170. I discover a location within the distant stars. This is another thing I need to do. I need to do warp drive because I need to be able to go to different systems, right? So we'll get there. We'll get there. It's just weird that like I got I use those navigational da data and like I don't have any locations. Now I just got a location there. Um, 
So, but it, it doesn't even look like it's showing up. I don't know. I'm probably reading this stuff. Oh, no, that location. Yeah, stuff is showing up now. Hold on. Let's get outside. Yeah, okay. So that one's showing up. That's on a different planet. So that's cool. That's what I wanted. But the other locations are not. Um, the ones I got from the uh, from the space station. Or maybe they are, and I'm just not seeing them. It looks like we've got a couple things on this planet. But th that's like, you know, I saw those ones I got on the planet, not before. What's up, buddy? I don't want to sit. The warrior stares at me with hostile, fiery eyes. Um, I must seem pitiful to them. I am. Give me something. Uh, frozen and bedraggled. Bedraggled, huh? Okay. After my time outside, nonetheless, the life form bows in greeting. Traditional honor, perhaps, dictate it. Okay. Something about a weapon. Looks like he's got a weapon. I don't feel in danger. I'm about to turn and leave when the creature points towards my multi-tool. They bark with... They bark with concern and motioning suggests I should hand it over. Yes, he's going to put something good on it. Hand over the multi-tool. The warrior nods to satisfaction, takes multi tool and examines it before it goes away. Uh, snort. Instead, they offer me improved multi-tool. I knew it. Cool. So they gave me an improved multi-tool with um, some kind of short circuit on it and some kind of plasma launcher. Okay. So I can compare. Um, his is actually worth less. His has five slots. Should I decline it? It's got a better scanner range, but it's got less slots. You know, I think I'm going to decline it. Um, I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know what that launcher, that plasma launcher thing is good for. Probably, eh, it's got a short circuit thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to decline it. I don't want to, I don't want to get something that has less slots. I hope, you know, I hope that was the right decision. Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's come outside. And let's take a look around. We need we need a build site. First thing I'm going to do is come over here and do some looting. And then I'm going to look for a build site. Do the save and chart thing. There we go. And let's go ahead and loot. The drone around here. I hope, there's, I hope drones aren't going to be a problem on this planet too. Uh, we need an Atlas page. Uh, Atlas card one to get in there. We will take this. And open that up, and what do we got? Ooh, a Gek Relic. That's nice. We can hand those over to the Gek, and they'll do stuff, I guess. Maybe be happy with us, I'm not really sure. So I came down to this planet, and I was gonna, like, build, like, a bit of a base. But then I was like, I don't need to build a base here. If I don't want to live here, I don't need to build a base. So I dug underground. All I have to do is put down the construction unit research thing. So, alright, analysis unit online. Let's check this thing out. Buildable technologies. Okay, so right here we do have a base teleportation module. Um, we also have wood shelters, metal shelters, concrete shelters. Um, the concrete shelters and the, and the uh, metal shelters seem to take the same exact amount of ferrite. So I'm going to go with metal shelters. So let's go ahead and do some metal walls. And we just learned metal walls. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what that does for our quest because I'm, I'm doing this for the quest. I do it for the quest. All right, how are we doing with the quest? All right, while we're, doing, while we're waiting for the quest update, let's go ahead and make some more life support gel. There we go. Okay. And uh, do we have another quest? Doesn't seem to be popping up with something. Uh, let's take a look. Explore the planet and expand your base. Expand your base with the additional base components. Extract salvage data for buried technology. Okay, so now we have to build a base. I guess we will build a base here. Why not? Why not? Search for berry technology. Okay, got it. But let's let's look at what else we can up we can open here. All right. What about structures? Oh, so it's yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, we're gonna do the teleportation thing, Bob. Okay, no, no, no. There we go. And then we're gonna do. Come on. Then I want to come down and get to solar panels and batteries. So let's go with biofuel reactor. I really wish I didn't get knocked out every time. There we go. And then we're going to do the wire. And then we're going to do solar panels. Don't have enough salvage modules. All right. I am going to get some more salvage modules. And when I come back, we're going to have 
we're gonna have the solar panels and stuff and i'll probably even start making a base here for the quest because it seems like i do have to do it for the quest but we are going to call this one here guys if you end up enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy all right guys a little bit of post video stuff here um i was going ahead and making a little tiny base here in the side of the mountain getting some more berry technology and i noticed in my inventory planetary charts cool man i'm so glad i was i was kind of wondering what that was all about i'm not going to mess with these this video because this video is already over but i just wanted to let you guys know i did see them and i'm sure you guys told me in the comments and thank you very much i'll see you next time